What inspired me to create and develop the Cincinnati Black Music Walk of Fame was that I came from a long legacy of uh, music in my life. Uh, my parents, uh, my mother, before she met my father, she was a singer and uh, sang in the choir, came up in the West End, was a singer there. And my father, he had worked for Motown. He was the advanced person in Cincinnati for Motown. And he started a organization called Operation Step Up. But it was the first talent show in Cincinnati at that time. And so she tried out for the talent show. He had Red Fox there. Her band did not show up. And he was not going to let her go on. But Red Fox said, let her go on. And so my mother went on and she blew the house down, is what I was told. And her nickname was Baby Aretha. She loved Aretha Franklin and everybody thought that she had a similar sound. Um, Alicia, Alicia was right there. She saw all that. So she got to see people, be around entertainers, meet people. And I had no idea that music was going to kind of be there with her and stick with her until she got to Grambling State University. And when she got to Grambling State University, she got involved in a lot of promotion and she became Miss Gramlin State. People don't realize that, that she traveled all over the country for the college and with Eddie Robinson. And they had, they had one of the greatest bands, college bands you could think of. And Alicia was involved in, in promoting and putting things on. And then she came back and got involved with radio with Lincoln Ware and then got involved in politics. This is his story. Never in the history of Hamilton County government have we built anything of this magnitude on a permanent basis in this county. You would not believe it. I mean, I think all of us to a certain degree know what it means to be vested in a vision, committed to a cause, a hard worker, if you will. But this woman, when I say this woman, I'm talking about that woman who went down on crutches at two and three o'clock in the morning, waiting on the arrival or a delivery of concrete or of bricks and just to make sure they're the right color or to make sure that deadlines are being met. What has happened, they're pouring today. I wanted to be here for the first pour on the top layer. They said, we're gonna start at four o'clock. And I was down here around four o'clock to see it happen. So uh, good morning. And as uh, Ice Cube would say, the day was a good day. I am committed, I am vested, and I think I'm a hard worker. Three o'clock in the morning in a hard hat waiting for the arrival of rocks. Never would you find that in my job description. When um, Miss Reese, you know, started talking about this and not actually just talking and it started happening, it's like, oh, okay. Well, this is, you know, this is something I definitely want to dedicate my time to because, you know, it's bigger than all of us. You know, it's bigger than all of us. And, and for somebody to put some time into it like that, you know, you got to be real. And, you know, it was right on time, right on time. That's a big sacrifice to step out by yourself and try to bring people together. Alicia is the biggest star Cincinnati's ever seen. Uh, I've never met anybody with her amount of dedication and determination, tenacity, intelligence, and just good old soul, right? Um, like, I, 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 met, I met her a year ago, and today I can say she is my sister. And if I am a star picker, I'm picking her. Well, there's always a challenge when you're doing something that's never been done. Uh, one of the things I think that helped me is that my father made me read the autobiography of Walt Disney when I was a teenager. And so I was always fascinated how he was able to take what everybody else saw was a swamp and say, we're going to have Disney World. And I had nothing but rocks. This was nothing but an empty lot filled with rocks and an eyesore. And I didn't see it as that. I saw it as this can be the Cincinnati Black Music Walk of Fame everyone, and I'm talking about diverse people on this project, women, men, black, white, coming together saying, hey, this is, we did this. We did this. The Cincinnati Black Music Walk of Fame, we did this. And that's what I'm saying. Everybody feels like we, we've been a part of this. And that means a lot to me.